what I had noticed together with uh, the, the, my co-founder, Karen Tankard, is that we'd been living in Nanuki on the Ontulili River for about four or five years. And we had been doing um, a lot of tree planting. So between us, we planted over 7,000 indigenous trees. And we just noticed that primates were starting to come back. We're really excited to to see the difference that our tree planting can make in a very short space of time. They weren't necessarily being poached in our area, they, but people were chasing them or using dogs to scare them away. So you, that's why you would find the colobus just trying to find small pockets where they felt safe. And the concern is that there's crop raiding and that has been the primary sort of problem in this particular area. And of course, then we got uh, very excited when we heard about Over and Above Africa because we were a, a group of five women meeting on a regular basis in terms of what we could do uh, in terms of widening out our project to the wider community it's to reforest your riparian area and protect our colobus um, families who are now residing with us. They were very shy in the beginning, but uh, they sort of gained confidence as we saw that we weren't chasing them, we were allowing them to be. We're very grateful for the grant because it, it's really making an impact. And I mean, it's so important because what, what we had seen, it was the women who were going down to the river to fetch water, picking up firewood uh, along the riparian, then seeing women struggling with huge buckets of water. I mean, you can imagine how much they weigh. So when we got together with the first group of 30 women in our local community, they could not believe that there were people who were actually interested in them and excited about helping them. They've done a couple of walks with the Kenya Wildlife Service, so we have been told we can request um, a ranger, an armed ranger, in areas where they feel not so safe. But in most of the area along where we live, it, they feel pretty comfortable walking as a group of three, and that is something that they decided on their own. They set up their own MOU in terms of how they wanted to move. We know what dates they're moving. Through the support of the Over and Above Africa, we've been able to uh, provide the women with trainings about the primates, how to identify the primates, the species, and even identifying different types of trees. We want to work together as a community to begin to solve some of those problems. It's obviously a long-term project because we have a very excited and informed group of women, and they're the backbone of, of obviously family life in, in Kenya. We are very grateful and we are looking forward to working with the Over and Above Africa and we are looking forward to achieve more goals as we promote coexistence in the community. Thank you. Thank you for your support and your interest. It, it really means a lot to, to all of us.